Jets go after soon-to-be-free agent Kirk Cousins or draft a quarterback. Washington sent an earthquake through the NFL world on Tuesday night when it traded for Kansas City quarterback Alex Smith. The reverberations will continue for months, and when the ground finally settles the Jets' perpetually wobbly quarterback situation could finally be stable, too. Kirk Cousins will soon be the Redskins' former quarterback, the team committed long-term to Smith, and so Cousins is heading to free agency where he will get a massive payday as the top quarterback on the market. The Jets, of course, have been looking for a franchise quarterback since 1976, when Joan Amoth walked off the field at Shea Stadium for the final time. But is Cousins their long-awaited answer? Or are they better off using the sixth pick in this quarterback-heavy draft to find their quarterback of the future? Trade Chiefs agree to trade Alex Smith to Redskins in surprise deal are the Jets on the list? 7 Likeliest Teams for QB Kirk Cousins after trade keep or cut? Who the Jets might keep or cut this offseason, including Robbie Anderson that's the difficult choice that the Jets now face. And what general manager Mike McCagnan does in the coming weeks will shape the franchise for years to come. Cousins certainly has the potential to be the best quarterback in Jets history. At 30 years old, he's just entering his prime. And over the last three seasons with the Redskins, he proved to be one of the better quarterbacks in the league with completing 67.1% of his passes with a quarterback rating of 97.5. Cousins has averaged 27 touchdowns, 12 interceptions and 4,392 yards over those last three seasons, making him clearly above average league-wide. But by the Jets' low standards, those numbers would be a remarkable upgrade. For perspective, in the Jets' 58-season history they have had only one quarterback throw for more than 27 touchdowns, Ryan Fitzpatrick with 31 in 2015 and only one throw for more than 4,000 yards, Namoth in 1967. If the Jets signed Cousins, years of quarterback Hawks would finally go out the window. If Cousins continued playing the way he has, the Jets would finally not have to worry about their quarterback losing them games. With the quarterback question finally solved, the Jets could focus on other areas and quickly build a contender. But it's going to be expensive because to land Cousins the Jets will have to pay Cousins like no other player in NFL history. Quarterbacks have never been more valuable in the NFL. Just ask another very good quarterback, Matt Stafford, who landed a five-year, $135 million extension from the Lions last year, the richest contract in NFL history. To land Cousins, the Jets would have to pay significantly more perhaps as much as $150 million over five years. The Jets certainly have the resources to do it. They're expected to have around $100 million in salary cap space when free agency begins. Even if they sign Cousins to that big contract, they could have around $70 million remaining to build out the roster. The far less expensive option would be to draft a quarterback. The Jets will have to pay their sixth pick about $24 million over four years according to OverTheCap.com. Even if they made a bold move to trade up to the number one pick, they'd owe him only $32.8 million over four years. There's a chance that Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, Josh Allen or one of the other quarterbacks in this deep draft will be as good or better than Cousins at far less immediate cost. But there's also a risk that one of them will be a total bust, crippling the franchise again for years to come. And that's why the Jets need to make Cousins their top off-season priority. McCagnan has already swung and missed on his two quarterback picks, Bryce Petty and especially Christian Hackenberg. There is no swinging and missing on Kirk Cousins, he's a very good NFL quarterback. The kind of quarterback the Jets could win with the kind of quarterback they haven't had in decades. It will cost a lot, but the Jets can finally end 40 years of quarterback agita with one big check. And that would be worth every penny to their long-suffering fans. Email, vasquez at northjersey.com